Hey, what's up? This is my love letter to the Obsidian application. It's one of my favorite pieces of software of all time, and today I want to get a little bit into what I think makes it so great. At its heart, Obsidian is a personal wiki tool. So just like Wikipedia links articles together into a network of information, Obsidian links your notes together into a network of ideas. You can make a link out to another note, to a section in that note, even to a specific paragraph in that note. And the link can be to an image, to a PDF, even to a voice memo if you need it. As you add notes, you can add links to notes, but you can also make notes from links. So I recently had a geography lecture. My professor concluded by saying, okay, so we've got magma that cools, it forms igneous rocks, and because of how hot that is, any fossils that are in it, they then get destroyed. So how did that go into my obsidian? So I went to my note about the different types of rocks. I made a link out to a note that did not yet exist, take down the definition, how it forms, and then I go to the fossil note and I link to that from there. This is what really sets Obsidian apart because I was able to do that in real time, right? And I was able to record and then link together ideas as I encountered them. This has been really powerful and it also helps with the consolidation of information. Another two weeks later, my professor mentions, okay, basalt, that's a type of igneous rock that you need to know. I went to you know the heading and I was able to take down that example of it, right? By comparison, if I had taken the notes in say chronological order, so week one notes, week two notes, week three notes, I might have all the same information there, but it would be scattered across multiple documents, right? Whereas in Obsidian, it's all there under one topical heading and linked to the other ideas that were mentioned, right? So you have all of the power of keeping it together there, but with the same flexibility of being able to understand how it fits into the larger set of ideas. This really helps when you're going for exams. So my geology midterm, it was open note, right? And I was able to refer to that information. So when they asked this question about the gunflint microbiota, all I had to do was take that phrase, plug it into Obsidian, and it showed up, hey, this is what it is, this is who found it, and this is what its significance is. If your exams are anything like this, where you need to take a specific phrase and remember something about it, Obsidian is the perfect tool for that. Obsidian is also really great about dividing up your workspaces. Each uh, top level folder or vault can have a specific theme and it can even have its own plugins, right? This really helps to make the vault feel special and unique, right? So for example, I have my geology vault, which is airy and bright, whereas my computer science vault, much like my text editor, of course, it's in permanent dark mode, right? That just makes sense. Every day, for every lecture, I sit down in front of the same computer and open the same set of applications, right? But because Obsidian has these different themes, it helps to make each class feel a little bit different from each other, right? Even though, you know, I'm always on Zoom, there's always that sense that, like, I'm in a different place because, you know, the colors are different. It sounds simple, but it kind of works. Obsidian is also really serious about the separation between vaults. So if you have two different vaults, then you cannot search for notes that are in the other vault or link to a note that's in the other vault. This might sound like a weakness, but I've found the separation to actually be really useful because it keeps the application from ever feeling cluttered, right? Contrast that to something like, say, Bear, right? I have dozens of tags in Bear because I use it so much, right? But when I'm trying to find a specific tag or search across all my notes, all of the other stuff that's essentially unrelated, it tends to get in my way. With Obsidian, that never happens because you've divided stuff into subjects independent in their own vaults. Lastly, I want to touch on why I feel good about entrusting my notes to Obsidian. I think their slogan really says it all. Your notes, for you, forever. They fulfill this promise in two major ways. The first is by using Markdown. So that's an open file format, which means that any note you take in Obsidian can be read and edited by other applications, right? Even today. So even if Obsidian went away, your notes would still be useful for you. The second way that they fulfill this promise is by working directly off of the file system, which means your notes are in your computer, right? They're not in the cloud somewhere or on some proprietary app system like with Evernote or Notion, right? So anything that keeps your computer's files secure and backed up, it will keep your Obsidian Vault likewise. Obsidian is a great, powerful, and flexible way to take notes. It's available on Mac OS, on Windows, and on Linux, so I really encourage you to check it out, and I hope you found this overview useful.